It's like some kind of post-apocalyptic version of the Abbey Road cover. Yeah, that's right. You're just supposed to turn around and then the line. Really coming together, huh? I can't take all the credit. Oh, we've lost the pose. Strike a pose. So, as you can see, I've been expanding my water empire. And here's a quick tip. Initially, I had three guns right across the bridge, but that meant that the traders couldn't get the cows through. So, about the same amount of firepower here. A little more staggered, and the cows can get by. Some more guns this way, protecting more water purification systems. I've been really beefing up the uh, defenses around Sanctuary, because well, although I don't think Sanctuary ever gets attacked, at least it hasn't been attacked yet, because then Preston would have to do something. Um, supposedly, there's my humble abode that would make MCS you're so proud. Supposedly, if you're a uh, if your defense is much lower than your food and water and resources, then, well, then you're more open to raiders. Here you can see we've got twice as much food as the people need, a few extra beds, a lot of defense really for a for a town. I mean, that's a lot of guns around this place, but it's a big it's a big place. Good amount of power and a ridiculous amount of water. I'm gonna try and get it to 500. I need some stuff, I need some screws, some copper, some, you know, that's the standard kind of thing, just to get one last purifier in there, and maybe a whole bunch of uh, water pumps just to get to 500. I've heard you could exceed 500, but I'm not sure that's true. I'm tempted to do a lot of additional building here eventually, so that this can be one gigantic settlement. But then again, that only takes away from my water, doesn't it? Desperately trying to avoid Preston, who's over there someplace, I believe. Or is he over that way? They're somewhere over there. Hi, Piper. Loving the road leathers. Definitely uh, planning on putting off taking the castle as uh, much as I can. Because I found out when you take the castle, then you get a radio signal that gives you all the same annoying missions that Preston does, only faster and more frequently. Yeah, you need the castle like you need a slap in the head, really, for the most part. I realize there's artillery, and it's, it is it is one of the biggest, best defended things on the, you know, in the whole game, but... Does Piper just need some attention? I think she just needs some attention over here. I'm willing to give her attention, right? It's just, you know... There he is. Just keep walking. The last this lit, next mission, I got to go clean out a nest of super mutants. I didn't even go up to him and talk to him. He came to me. Cleared out my last thing. Hey, good. I didn't tell him anything. He just said, oh, by the way, good job on that. Go get the super mutants. Lots of guns. I have a couple pieces of armor now, and I'm thinking maybe if we go after these super mutants, we might try them out as far as, you know, put one on Piper. Probably can do that. I might take the junkier looking one, which actually probably might have better stats, except for the fact that it's missing a leg. So this one's probably still got the edge. But I want to be chivalrous. I'm going to give her the nice looking one. It's got the explosive plating kind of stuff. I said, hey, the Bobrov brothers are looking for you. Talk to the Bobrov brothers. I'm not dealing with that. Uh, enough headaches right now. They say the old Boston Commons got some crazy bird living in it. Or something. Okay, this is like one thing after another. I just want some ammunition. We'll just sit here for 12 hours. No place good to sleep, as I can tell. Look 
Currency is something bad that went down in the old museum of witchcraft near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? Map updated, so we're just getting Look mission after mission. You get the cap off the toothpaste. You know who does that? A synth. Uh, well, synth paranoia. We can talk about guns, or maybe you want to consider something more up close and personal. I've got a few minutes to browse. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. That's mainly why I'm here. It's Definitely want that one. If I could just build up some cash as opposed to building. Brace girder, blah blah. So let's go right to ammo. Any missiles? Eight missiles. That would be a good thing to have. Mini nukes? Any mini nukes? Thirty-three. And they're expensive, boy. I'll tell you. <laughs> Leaving you with sixty-nine on purpose, kind of. But cryo cells, I should. But that's an expensive thing too, and I'm hopefully not going to end up needing the cryo gun. Throw weapons, apparel. Let's go to apparel. I need a power armor. No power armor stuff? <coughs> okay, we'll get Let's see. Do we have an armor? Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. <laughs> the Wastelander's chest piece. That's, that's a tempting thing there. I suppose. So. No armor, as I could tell. A lot of discontent. I don't want my face redone. New issue of the anyway, uh, well, view from the vault. Outside the perspective on the wall. I hear you've been asking questions around town. Uh, well, what? Diamond City's got two private dicks now? Officer. Nice night, huh? It's daytime. Okay, now here, check out this dilemma. Mr. Preston wants to be head down. That's why I'm down here. I'm picking up some missiles and stuff to deal with some super mutants. And oh, let's let's see where the Warwick estate is here. You know, the War Warwick estate. Warwick homestead. There you go. That's about as far south on the map as you're gonna go. About as far down as Somerville Place, which I've avoided for similar reasons. As we all know, things get worse the further south you go. And so, I don't know. Do we want to let these people hang? I don't know if I want to. I mean, the best we could do is take this road out this way, walk it down this way, and run away from as much stuff as we can until we get to something that we can fast travel to. Go back and get the suits. Yeah, this could this could be reasonably ugly. I mean, I understand the whole point is to drive the plot forward and encourage exploration, but I mean, there is a lot of stuff that's going to try to kill me in between here and there, and I won't really have any ammunition by the time I get down to this point. Unfortunately, I'm also a completionist when it comes to these games, and I hate missing out on missions. Not that I've already haven't missed out on missions, but oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Okay, and so I've got 333 water, and I've dumped a good bit of it on Piper. I guess that would that make her my water wench, and I still have too much. Still can't walk. We have so much water. We're gonna have to dump off some M, some weapons here for the short term. Let's see, Fat Man. Fat Man's heavy enough. Almost heavy enough. There we go. We'll come back for those. Oh, 
Let's head back to the starlight. We'll sell some of the stuff off, buy some more ammo, buy some more stuff, maybe put up some more water things, and then we'll consider walking halfway across the Commonwealth and getting ourselves killed. I actually don't know how long you're supposed to get to, um, to complete a mission. There is a limited amount of time, and if they tell you you've got a limited amount of time left to complete it, it's too late. I've been in the process of shooting them up, but then it fails the mission on me, so... Usually something bad's happening here. Let's see, that's a provisioner. That's his cow. That's a guy shooting at his cow. That's his cow running into a machine gun fire. Oh, yeah, there's, there's a few more guns over that way. Nothing like automatic weapons fire to take care of, you know, pretty much any of your problems. Now, where are the dead guys? Yeah, I'm carrying too much. I'm okay with that. We can walk a little slowly. You would think that with all the bodies stacking up outside this place, people would stop bothering it. But it is along a mean road. There's another guy over here someplace. There he is. Yeah, I'm perfectly aware I'm carrying too much and can't run. I'm going to carry a little bit more, or is that just that old feral ghoul who doesn't even want to rot when he's dead? Okay, well. Huh. wonder how long that pipe pistol's been there. Alright, we'll check in the daylight. I mean, I don't think they're going to be going anywhere. Of course, there's nobody here. <sighs> I still haven't figured out what the story is with this. I realize it's a scrapping area, and she's supposed to be working on the scrapping thing, but... I don't know. I don't get it. Why is she torching that particular part? Caps? There's just caps here? Well, that was a nice little bonus. Let those come back. Okay, this is the general trader. <laughs> Looking to buy? I've got a few minutes to browse. Here's what I've got. Yeah, we'll just get some stuff. You can. Now the military duct tape. That's kind of an interesting one to grab because that gives you ballistic fiber, and ballistic fiber becomes very important later. Now we'll go store all this junk, and then we'll get the water off of Piper, and try and get some ammo and stuffs, and... Ooh, there's water here, too. 111 bottle caps. Wow, 250. Let's see, that's 2,500 caps worth. Well, we're gonna just get rid of, uh... Have some water. I'm sure I have something to need. Yeah, caps. I'll take a look, sure. Here's what I've got. Good to see he's no longer a mime. Not that there's anything against mimes, you know. I can sell some of that stuff, too. That's... Hundred forty? Don't want to leave him totally broke. You're a doctor, you must be rich. Hey, not many doctors around these days. Yeah, so let me take a look at you. You already took a look at me. I just need to barter. Could use some supplies, actually. Alright. But go easy on the camp. Now, this could work here for what we're going to do. Let's 
see, there's his 810 plus. We'll accept that. Take some rat away. Some stim packs. Offset that. Huh. I'm still coming out behind. That's bizarre. Still. All things considered, probably the best deal I could pull off here because I'm going to need the stim packs and everything else for later. And that's how you stay wealthy as a doctor. There you go. That's just great. You know that nobody works this. You, could, you know? Huh, women. Okay, here's the situation. I'm now one generator, which is only two copper away from having all of these running. There's one in there that's not running. But as you can see, uh, to hit the little button, we have a significant amount of water going here. We have 526 water from uh, a significant compound of water generating devices with a good amount of guns to protect them and keep them safe. Ah, and the provisioner can get past the guns now. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. We've moved everything around. There's the proof that we have left at least enough room for the cows. Here's a quick mini tip. I went to go scrap this mailbox stand. And, oh, look. 38 rounds. Hooray. Let's see. Can I tell? Well, I'm in, I'm in the build mode here. It does... Did you move stuff there? Okay, well, let's let's get out of this and just take the rounds, because I could use as many bullets as I can get. And scrap that for four steel, yay. Scrap that for six steel, and then there you're good. Scrap a maple up. But at any rate, where are we at now? Well, now... My normal plan, what I really what we like to be doing, is continuing just bouncing between settlements, building up money, get myself the big boy for fifteen grand. I mean, at 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 five hundred or so water at a clip, you know, or even three hundred water at a clip, depending on how it's being used throughout the Commonwealth, I could uh, come up with that pretty quickly, and then consider retaking the castle. Although, uh, really, well, when you find out that. Uh, that radio can just reach out and touch if you're listening to it, and then get more and more missions. But still, I was having a lot of fun just going around and building up each of the settlements. You know, for instance, I, I thought I had adequate defenses over at Starlight, uh, but then there was a death claw, and uh, it took a bit more to take him down than the three machine guns or five machine guns, whatever it is. So I'd like to put a few more guns there. And keep bouncing around, doing that kind of stuff and such, but there is a little, little sticking point here. And that is, we've got this whole thing, the, the war, war we've been given, and I mean, talk about given. I didn't even talk to President, he walked up to me, of course. And uh, we're stuck with this thing here, so we're going to have to go down there before it really times out. And the real problem is, again, we're going to have to get all the way here. Like, where is the closest? I mean, we can't even go across the water from Nornhead and Beach. You know, there's... Maybe we can walk up and around down there, past the Constitution and down. But in any case, this is going to be a significant walk. Even, but even if we go take the other route, which might be shorter, now that I look at it, is go right from Diamond City, take the main streets all the way down here. There's past the Quincy ruins. And talk to the settlers here. I mean, this is going to be a lot of shooting and a lot of walking and a lot of fighting. There's no... None of these have been, you know, found out. I've been trying to stay away from the south just because 
Not that I have a problem with shooting and stuff in this game, but I mean, it just burns up so much ammunition, and then you can't do what you want to do, and then... Like that! So! What is going to have to be next... Yeah, yeah, it ain't raining. Thanks for this constant Miniman crap. What I've decided we're going to have to do is I've already modded up a bull bunch of weapons. And we got a maximum capacity huge napalmer, triple barrel missile launcher, you yeah. know, recoil compensated hard and piercing automatic. Oh, we got a whole bunch of stuff going on here. So that we're we're pretty well set. I mean, righteous authority. We've tweaked that out about as far as I can for right now, without boosting some other stats up. So we're gonna have to mount up. You like your own gun? I understand. I might try to experiment. Just give her the uh, the blaster in a single round and see if that works, like it did in the old games. But I'm pretty sure she'll shoot the one round and then go back to her 10 mil. Um, but I think we're gonna mount Piper up in this deal here. In the T-45, I'm going to take over here in the, uh, the the Raider power armor simply because, uh, number one, she can't die. Uh, this is, should be a little bit heavier armor. And I can drink water in this because I've already got the, uh, the scrubbing Raider power helmet. And stuff like that. So we're going to mount up. We're going to put in our... Uh, put in our fusion cores here and then take the long walk down she's always working on something it's great she hates being bored um we'll head to diamond city we'll head then we'll take the long walk around it should be an interesting uh an interesting journey to say the least i'm not sure how many tribes we're gonna have to do that we have to walk a certain amount of way fight for some stuff come back but we're going to have to approach it soon, because I don't want to run out of time on that, because eventually you will tell you, yo, you're running out of time, and what I've learned is that means you're out of time, and when you try it now, you're going to fail it anyway, so you might as well let it go. So, that is the next thing to try, and not this video. <laughs> next video. This is the Black Knight. Well, next, next Fallout video. It may not be the next, next video, but next Fallout video. It's going to be time to... Chew some bubblegum and kick some ass. And I might be all out of bubblegum. If it's not one thing, it's another. Well, gotta run.